So welcome back. So this lesson we're actually going to try and upload that image to Firebase. And we're going to do uh, that by making a new service. I called it the upload service. That's a bit unfortunate because Max is also going to get the profile image with the upload service, but still, we're going to keep that name for now. But I'm going to upload the profile image here by calling a, a, a method here that sends in the user to which I need to add the image to the profile and then the actual image I want to upload. And this is going to be a base64 encoded part of the image. I'll show you that in a second what I mean. Another thing you should know is I'm actually not using pure angle of fire here. I'm actually injecting the Firebase app, which is the plain Firebase SDK without angle of fire. It's just the plain Firebase SDK. We're going to use that later as well. It's the way I'm going to grab the storage because angle of fire doesn't support that yet. So by doing this, and I, I can actually go and grab the storage reference inside Angle of Fire. So now I can actually start uploading real files to Firebase storage setup. Let me try and show you the Angle of Fire storage part here. I'll just press storage here, and here I actually have my files in Angular. Okay, uh, sorry, in Firebase. <laughs> so now you have a storage setup. Okay, so that's the goal. The upload file image is going to be called, and then it's going to grab that kind of a reference to this area called storage, right? And in that area, it's going to create um, a path to profile and then the name for a key. That's going to be the path. And that path is actually going to create a file called the name of the user. So in this case, this is my user ID, and that's actually also my file name. We could change that to anything we want. I just decided to do it this way. So now I have the file name actually available here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a string inside this. It's going to convert it into a file for me and I'm going to send in the image which is the base64 encoded image. Uh, kind of a reference that we're going to send a base64 encoded image and then the content type which is going to be passed into PNG. And then when that is done we're going to call a small log just to say that is up there and then I'm going to update the actual user in the database to explain to him he just got an image. Let me show you that. Inside the database if you open my user here, there's actually now an image available with a file name and a path for the file. So update with the path for the file and the file name. The file name might not be required, but we're going to do it this time anyway. So that's actually the upload file um, profile image that we're going to use to actually send our file to Firebase. The other thing you need to know is when you make a new service, remember it needs to be put inside providers, inside the app module TS file or any module you have available where you're going to use this service. I think I'm going to just as the final thing add the service here inside our um, inside our user profile component. I'm going to add this upload service and I'm going to call it upload service like this. And then I think next lesson let's focus on actually using it. Now you know how to get it in here and how you how the first part of it works. See you in the next lesson.